Hello, everyone, and welcome to another episode of Sherlock Holmes, Chapter 1. Uh, just a continuing on from where we left off last time um, is the crime that we are investigating. Uh, worked out where I had to go. <laughs> it took a while, but I thought I'd jump in and quickly find it. But it is pretty store here. Uh, it's our first... So, table for seance at the centre, diamond holder, a half empty glass of whiskey, a cigar butt at the place nearest the main door, um, a glass of wine partially spilt across from the window, a chair was thrown aside, there's pants on the ground. The lady is barely conscious. I can't even see here, but I've got a... So that's the shoe. Most of, Most all, of all, all, the all the maids in the hotel wear this exact shoe. Yeah. Size, Size four, with four with a broken, broken heel. So, so definitely, definitely not the ghost of a Roger. Roger. No. Oh, no. Yes. No. no. What a shame. What a shame. Our, Our witness, witness was a nosy maid. maid. Hmm. Searching, Searching the entire, the entire hotel could be difficult. Perhaps the Perhaps other the maids other can maids help us find her. her. Oh. This reminds this me of a fairy, fairy tale, tale Sherry. Sherry. Will you find, find your princess? Your princess. <laughs> All right, where are we? Must be down the sword. Oh, Jesus. Oh, we're in a swimming pool. Is this, Is this familiar to you? I can't I help you with that, sir. I was here before. Thank you for Thank helping you us resolve the situation, the situation, sir. Oh, I love the ambiance. Nice and creepy. Find, Find the stone, the stone Mr. Holmes, and pale skin, quickened pulse, unsteady breathing. She's barely well, conscious. That's where I had, but it's not. Feebleness of women. Feebleness of women, yes. Can you satisfy my curiosity? I'm so sorry. I can't help you, sir. Well, I've got to find the mains. Where are they? One. May I ask for your assistance? I would never refuse a noble man. But I know nothing, sir. This isn't working. You might need a different tactic. What do you mean a different tactic? I need to find where are the rest of the maids. There's one upstairs here somewhere. Finally, Finally. There, you there you are. One would, one would think, think a maid would be easy, easy to find in this place. In this place. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, sorry, sir. Do you need more <laughs> no, 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 no. You, you are the are maid who saw the ghost in the seance room, yes? How did you know? Simple. Simple. You changed shoes, shoes after breaking a heel while fleeing the scene. I'm sorry, I'm sorry sir, sir, but if I may I ask, ask, who are you? A precious diamond was stolen during the seance. Lord Craven entrusted me with its recovery. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, sorry, sir, but we are we forbidden are to discuss the private matters of our guests. Oh, okay. Are you, are you also, also forbidden, forbidden from peeking into, into private, private rooms, rooms Miss? Saletta. Lucia Saletta, sir. sir. Tell me, Tell Miss Saletta, what would your manager say if he knew you were spying on guests? I, I, oh, please, oh, sir, please, don't sir, tell, him. tell him. I have I a have family. family. I need, I need this, this work. work. I won't, I won't. But, but only if you answer, answer my questions, questions truthfully. And don't play coy. I can tell. What did he see in the room? What happened during the seance? A lady and two gentlemen were sitting at a table, touching their hands to something. The medium started to whisper and, and chant. And a ghost appeared. A ghost? You're confident? It was an earthly sir. It grew from, from the medium's, the medium's chest. chest. A glowing, a glowing cloud, cloud or a bubble. A bubble. 
I pressed closer, closer against, against the window, window to, see to see better. better. And the lady saw you. How did you? Yes. yes. She screamed and pointed, so I hurried to escape, and I broke my heel. But I did see the ghost. A sickly evil thing. Anything else? That's all you can tell me? Did you see any of what happened next? <laughs> the, the medium, Mr. Galici. He was doing something with the ghost. He grabbed at it like he was trying to catch it. And then I ran. I suppose I should be grateful you endured these horrors for such a long time. All right, I have your account memorized. Good day. <laughs> Good day. Did she really deserve that? We all got what we wanted. She talked. I stay silent. Oh, let's get back to the crime scene. I always love seeing you explain simple things to simple terms. <laughs> Alright, so back to the case book. Oh, yes, and there's another Sherlock Holmes game coming out in the next couple of days as well. But I'm sure if I'm going to be going for that one. We'll see. Oh, here we go. I've got to go to where this glowing Lady thing Craven is. Lord Craven remains here until the star support of the medium is locked in his room. Oh, I love the ambiance. Nice and creepy. Alright, here we go. I'm just going to sit down. She was looking out the window there. Maybe he was... I don't know, because she'll be... Point she's, she must have been sitting here. So I'm just trying to think... Yeah, so she pointed at the lady. Concentrate. Concentrate. It began when the lady screamed and pointed at the window. Lord Craven jumped up, ready to face anything, ghost or human. The medium shrank back in dismay. He was not expecting such a reaction and had to quickly hide the ghost. The lady was the only one left touching the diamond, at least until she fainted. <laughs> so maybe she... Amazing! It's like you saw it with your own eyes, sir. Yes. Oh, I forgot that you were here. I guess I should discuss all of this with Lady Craven. The Cravens are upstairs in room 226. It is one of our finest suits. If the lady was touching a diamond, then she would have felt the ghost take it. What do you think it felt like, Sherry? A jellyfish? The Cravens are upstairs in room 226. Oh, let's go. 226. It should be the right side. 223. No, it's the left. Four. Five should be no the cost of hoarding. Lady Craven is not who she seems. Remember her behaviour in the hall? Do you know anything about this? Please, don't get angry, sir. But I know nothing about this. I swear to you. 
Is this Is familiar, this familiar to, you? to you? Don't be don't angry, angry, sir, but, but I truly don't know. Oh, I am. Oh, I am. Call me Call when me you find, find the answer. answer. Well, that far, I'll just try again. Lady, Lady Craven, not what she seems. Remember her behavior? Uh, yeah, we'll do with that one. Uh, made her husband drunk. Lady Craven. Well, Lady Craven. Remember to focus only on what's relevant to the room. Lady Craven is not off. Now, I don't know, hang on. If I eavesdrop... Lady Craven is not what she sees. Remember her behavior. Good at valuable keywords from No. Why have I still got that buddy? Let's get rid of that. Dropping these Lady guys, I just gotta I gotta pick the right ones. No, it wasn't that one. Lady Craven. Alright, so we'll start with that one. No. No, that definitely wasn't it. Oh, they were checking you out. Lady Craven. Probably checking me out. No. No. Yes. No. No. Oh, so it's the knife. Lady Craven. Not what she sees. Yes. Yes. No. No. Oh. Lady Craven is not off. No. Oh, did you catch that <laughs> shadow? I didn't. I didn't. 
Better listen more closely. Lady Oliver? <laughs> uh, I don't know, try to get it right. No. No. Yes. No. No. Oh, shit, wrong one. Yes. Well, how is that? It's not helping. Like I said, Lady I pushed Queen those buttons, but it, it doesn't seem to... No, it wasn't that one. This one here. This one here. There, got it. I have had two staff members talking about Lady Craven. They gossiped about the warm, that the woman many may not be the wife of Lord Craven, sorry. But her observations, she was on the lookout during the evening while trying to get Lord, the Lord drunk. They also noticed that the lady was unsure how to properly use a fish knife. All right, so let's go in here. Shit. You're here, You're here. At, last. at last. I didn't do that. I swear, I, swear. I found her this way. Well, I well, did I have did some have questions some for her, for her but, but it seems I've arrived too late. late. Now, now it's a matter of Sorry. Place. Mr. Holmes, you said it yourself. They're children. They'll only make things worse. You, you promised me you would investigate. Investigate a theft, not a murder. Fear not. I will tell them all I've uncovered. Please help me. The police will surely accuse me of Emma's death. You were the only one who can find the truth. Fine, Fine, but only, but only because, because it's slightly, it's slightly more, more interesting than the walls of my room. room. Tell me what, what happened. happened. Look, after, after you, you left, left, I waited in the seance room until the servants locked up Mr. Galici the medium. Well, and was your mistress, mistress there too? too. Oh, oh, so you... So you, 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 know? you know? I suppose I shouldn't be surprised. Be surprised. Regardless, Regardless, the staff took Emma to her room. She was still feeling dizzy. So you, so you didn't, didn't follow her. her. Interesting. All right, so where's the medium, and where did you go next? Is Mr. Galici, Is Mr. Galici still, still being held, held? And where did the servant secure him? He's, He's in room 225. But that, that pigeon that man, man at the reception, reception desk refused to give me the key. Well, I will have to visit reception myself, then. Perhaps he will listen to reason. Yes. Where did you go instead? To the bar. It had been almost an hour. I see. I see. And how, how long, long did you stay? My part of a well-earned whiskey or two before retiring upstairs. Ask, ask anyone, anyone there. there. Now we now arrive at the tragedy at hand. So what so transpired, transpired after, after your detour, detour to the bar? I headed up to my room to find Emma on the bed. I didn't pay her much attention at first. I was still preoccupied with that damned medium. But when I realized she was silent, I drew closer and discovered she was dead. What's more, the diamond lay right there beside her. Oh, well, that is splendid news. Splendid? The return of the diamond will be cold comfort if I live out my days in a jail cell. You must help me. Let me see what I can find. Why am I not surprised? Do something about it, Holmes. I, I did not do it. You know that. Shut up. Strangled with bare hands, judging by the bruises. She was crying. Everything was tipped out of the bed as if it was searched. Now, yeah, there's one more. No, he's a dog. This I think she's yeah, whoops. It's certainly, it's certainly possible, possible, but we won't get her get confession, her confession now. now. Well, well, there is a there professional, professional medium right, right next, next door. door. Hang on, I'm checking these things out. Well, that's where the diamond was. 
Fard Rouge Calomel Mascara, a real altar of beauty for the traveling temptress. Next. There's five things, okay. Fard Rouge Calomel Mascara, a real altar of beauty for the traveling temptress. Remarkably simple lock. Oh, how do I? Oh, your problem is the conversation for you, gross misconduct. Okay. So young, so young and so, so dead. dead. Another, Another mystery, mystery to investigate, to investigate my, friend. my friend. So I've got to finish this part, but I don't know what else to click on. Because it's meant to be five. I've done found one. There's nothing here to click on. So that was that that I found. Is there anything else here? Aha! Uh -huh. A neat hiding place. Why would she conceal all of this? Oh, why would she? Several thousand pounds, that's quite a fortune. Virtus or Dactus Abbott, courage is bold. <laughs> a, a unique, unique family motto. motto. Oh, that's the butterfly. Hmm. This, this ring, ring looks out of place among the others, others, and the design is familiar. The mystery deepens. A victim with a checkered past and poor taste. <laughs> So, what was the room? Oh, here. Provide evidence. I found a pile of money and a family ring hidden in the secret stash. I found, I found these jewels, found these jewels secreted, secreted away. away. Are you familiar with them? Ah, it, cannot it cannot be so. so. That deceptive, deceptive wagtail. How, How could she do this? this? That sounds like a yes. These items were supposedly stolen from us during our trip. I must have spent hours reporting it all to the police. And it turns out she had them all along. The trollop. I'd kill her myself if she not dead already. Oh, okay. Do you recognize this ring? Should I? It's a, a third-rate third piece, if ever I've, I've seen one. one. I'd never, never buy something like this. Did you <laughs> ever see Miss Emma wearing it? No. And why, and why should, she? should she? I gave her I enough jewellery that she could wear a superior wear ring every day of the week. Shit. Do something Do about it, Holmes. So what now? I've done that. Alright, next to his and the key from it is now at the... Oh. I didn't do it, you know, you know that. that. 
I gotta go to the reception. Do I know that? Maybe you did do it. That's not reception, this is reception. Give me the key. I suppose you are an impartial outsider. All right, but please do not give it to Lord Craven. We do not want to see our reputation damaged further. Awkward. They still don't know what a nasty surprise awaits upstairs. Hush. No need to cause another ruckus. The last thing we want is the police to come meddling. Should I get the ring? Yeah, I did. Okay. Back upstairs. Did I get the key? What's the... Yeah, well, I've got the key, key from room where. Uh, so it's next door, so. Oh, hang on, what's this guy? So young, so young and so, so dead. dead. Another, Another mystery, mystery to investigate, my friend. Room next door would be this one. Hmm, someone, someone is making the most of his stay. Can you blame her? Tools and accessories for masterful prestidigitation. Or, or weapons and defences against visitors from the Great Beyond. A familiar substance. It's the ectoplasm that stained the seance table, but this time, there's enough for analysis. Cool. I hope you will have time to visit our estate and perform another seance, okay. Tools and accessories for masterful prestidigitation. Alright, open the case book. Uh, and we can do this one. No, one. Oh, we got three there plus two. It's not letting me do both. Ah, oh, so we got to put these two here. That one there, plus this one. And then that's got to be connected to that. Yeah, there. <laughs> the rubber latex mixed with... My faith in this medium is burst, just like a rubber balloon. I'm afraid, I'm afraid I can I wait no longer to hear your account of the seance, Mr. Galici. So please, tell me what you saw. Lady Craven wanted to meet the spirit of the Raja. My conjuration was successful. Perhaps even too successful. I am sure, I am sure this spirit is the only one who could have taken the diamond. Lord Craven needs, needs to leave me alone. Do you think, Do you think the, police the police will believe me? Of course. I didn't take any. And spiritual phenomena are beyond their control. Or should I summon the ghost again so they may attempt to handcuff it? I think I would prefer to begin my investigation in the physical realm. Yes.
Took a heavy blow. Doesn't need enough. Nothing wrong with his little. Oh, hang on, we've got scuff marks. Fresh scrapes, slightly bleeding. Trained and slight sleep hand. Oh, and his neck. He used a lot of makeup. Okay. Alright, so I don't sort of don't understand this. Uh, his hands and thin fingers are definitely days of a thief, trained in a delicate work. Uh, he uses makeup to hide possible jail tattoos. He has fresh scratches and scrapes on his wrist from a recent short fight, and I believe he's more criminal than a medium. Alright, um. Use a makeup to hide the traces of his illness. His hands and thin fingers indicate that he is skilled at conjuring tricks used to manipulate concealed items. Special catching and scrapes on his hand wrist from a recent and short fight. I think he tries his best as a medium, but his business doesn't go well and he sometimes has to go about food. I reckon that one because he's malnutritioned, he's not a thief. I have, I have shocking, shocking news, news that changes, changes your situation, situation entirely. entirely. Oh, oh no, no, wait. wait. What am I what thinking? Am I thinking? The, spirits the spirits will have told, told you this already. Uh, not, not in the necessary, necessary state, state for some. The spirits, the spirits prefer, prefer clarity of mind and soul. Please, Please, tell me. Lady Craven Lady died, died in the very, very next room while, while you were in here. here. Did you Did not you hear not anything? What? What? In fact, I did hear noises. That Craven is a very loud man. But I never thought he would do that to his wife. Well, you claim to be a medium. Perhaps you could ask her spirit why. What? No, it's uh, too dangerous. Oh well, at least I can make the dead talk. Tell me about your scratches. Those scratches on your hands look rather painful. What happened to you? It was those savage servants. They were so they were rough so bringing me here, here as if I was, I was trying, trying to escape. To escape. When I'm when free, I'll, I'll demand compensation. Hmm. I don't know. Nicely. Before you get the fair thing, we continue to have the ring has not yet been found, blah blah blah. The spirits, the spirits are, are silent, silent, and so, and so am I. I. This object, this object simply, simply isn't, isn't resonating, resonating with me. With me. 
Do you realize just how dangerous it is to hold phosphorus in the mouth? I beg your pardon? I'll bet it makes your rubber balloons glow impressively in the dark, but you'll regret it when the hypertension and vomiting sets in. You mock my talent, sir. You shouldn't be so flippant about things beyond your earthly understanding. How ignorant one must be to compare a spirit's ectoplasm with... Balloons. Balloons. It was merely a word of caution. We both know how match factory workers look after several years on the job. Sorry, that's beyond my expertise. That's a remarkable pin of yours, Mr. Galici. Does it have any meaning? The butterfly? It's a reminder of a time in which I was truly happy. What a coincidence. Lady Craven had a ring with the same design. A coincidence indeed. <laughs> I suspect, I suspect it is a common, common theme, theme in jewelry. Well, maybe he is a killer. This, this is, is all is just, just a big misunderstanding. misunderstanding. And I said that he wasn't. Alright, so this is, uh, this is fun. Um, Luca, Emma left the scratches on Luca's hands while fighting for her life. Um. So when you click all of these, it, you don't lose. left oh, that one there <laughs> I just can't pick anything that looks right oh, we won't do that video we'll just finish doing these so none of those Those ones there, like I said, we'll tie all these together until I work out. Um, so, Luca could uh, no ammo was a thief. Server, but that's what he's saying, but I don't think so. And, uh, whoever killed Emma left the diamond beside her. Lord returned, but no, I don't think it was. He returned. I mean, he's got anger issues, but. I tried to frame Luca the medium for her theft of the diamond. In revenge, he killed her. Luke Gucci is a murderer. He couldn't stop himself from killing Emma, even though he could have just told the police everything. Help Luke escape. Luke fought for his life, given his checkered pass. If he were arrested, nothing could save him from a death sentence, and Emma knew it. I will not stop him from playing to start a new life. We'll do this one.
red, so maybe that wasn't the one, it was this one then. I did this one here, but it said it wasn't the spirits spirit confirm it. Do you? I do. In my line of work, one needs resources available to help deal with the unpredictable and unwelcome. You always take me to the best of places, Sherry. Luca Galici, I know you murdered Lady Craven, and I can prove it. That would be a grand story for the newspapers. But where's your proof? I was locked in here and could not hurt a fly. Yes, yes, the lock room. Good of you to mention it. I inspected the door between the rooms, and the lock on it is piteous. You could open it with a penknife. So I am now a burglar, as well as a thief and a murderer? Your wrists are bloodied, and there's no way a servant's manhandling could cause such an injury. It was Lady Craven as you strangled her. Yep. You are, you are fantasizing, Mr. Holmes. As for the motive, it's obvious that you deduced that Lady Craven was the real thief. Of course, it helped that this was not your first encounter with Miss Emma. I am... I, I, I don't know what you're talking about. Hmm... How on earth can you believe this? I think the police will easily find the proof when they browse their archive. It is done, Luca. You will be arrested. Your best strategy now is to confess and hope your reasons were justified. I... I... There you go. I don't know how you figured it out. But yes, I killed her. I had to. This woman, this woman could not get, get away, away with ruining, ruining my, my life, life twice. Twice? twice? I knew Emma before she was a lady. I mean, like. she pretended <laughs> to be noble back then too. But only so our gang, the moths, could steal from those snobs. She betrayed us. Stole all our money and disappeared. Leaving us to rot in jail. I was young. I spent three years in that hell. And tonight, she tried to set you up again. Did she recognize you? She didn't. I came to her afterwards, pleading that she dropped this farce, but she laughed in my face. I just remembered my time in the clink. All I suffered while she indulged. Then I grabbed her throat. Ow. Murder is murder, Luca. You could have told Lord Craven the truth and seen Miss Emma's downfall, but you could not restrain yourself. He would never believe me. We will never know. Still, perhaps a jury will be more easily swayed. If not, you'll get to see your friends in jail again soon. <laughs> Case solved. We'll meet again, Holmes. I will get you in this life or the next. Get your hands off me. He murdered the woman who put him in jail. Should we be worried? Fear not, John. Unlike Miss Emma, I will see him coming. <laughs> That was too much fun, Sherry. I'm buzzing. Buzzing. Wasn't it fun? A woman died, John. I was too slow to the truth, too hesitant to intervene. How can you... Oh, lighten up. 
Those people made their choices. If you swan about with a diamond in your pocket, that's what happens. Wealth is a weakness, so we must blame those who covet it. With enough money on the line, Sherlock, a man will do just about anything, even murder. And then we get to solve it. I suspect you perhaps cannot grasp the true horrors of mortality, John. Oi, I am aware of my perilous existence, thank you very much. I must admit, even if the outcome of the adventure was imperfect, there was some pleasure to be had in the puzzle. Well, Cordona seems more depraved and decadent than we thought. I bet you'll get another chance. A bet, you say? Ah, oh, figure of speech. Just a figure of speech. <sighs> Damn. Well, take one last look at the view, then we must be off. It's time to do what we came here for. Yes. Looks beautiful. Anyway, welcome to so the ghosts of the past. Write that down. So will it show up? So what is the ghost? I don't know. Okay. Ghosts of the past. Right. Done. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Um, as you can see, it is a big, huge map, and it's, I'm guessing there'll be a lot to do. In this area, uh, we'll see you in the next video. Please remember to join the discussion in community, and that's where you get your updated info of what I may or may not, or what I may be recording. Um, that's today. I didn't let you know, but uh, I'm keeping these um, episodes going at the moment. Uh, thanks for watching.